Construction on some of the new exhibits at the Albuquerque Biopark are being pushed back because of the economy. News 13's Jessica Barron is live in downtown Albuquerque to explain the challenges that are causing the delays. Jessica? You can actually see behind me some of the construction being done in the Asia exhibit at the zoo. But just like the rest of the country, the biopark is being hit by inflation and shipping delays as well. We have seen some impacts related to supply chain concerns um, that have caused our contractors to have to kind of look at the scheduling of construction and um, shifting the schedule a bit to allow for um, the anticipated supply chain concerns. Construction projects at the biopark are funded by a gross receipts tax approved by voters in 2016. The money has already helped the zoo build a new elephant observation deck, improve irrigation lines, and replace the roofs on multiple exhibits. But with current supply chain issues, the zoo says they've had to push the deadline back a few months for two of their biggest projects, the Australia and Asia exhibits. For example, HVAC units originally chosen for the new exhibits are not available, so the zoo says they've had to replace could take the replacements could take nine months to arrive. They say the current economy has also made construction more expensive. Right now, as we reflect and project forward um, and we get project costs, those costs are going up. It simply means we're likely going to be doing slightly less uh, with, the, with that money than we would be able to do prior to inflation issues becoming a concern. Construction isn't the only thing being impacted by the economy. The zoo says some of the cost of their food for the animals has also gone up, including hay, which has increased by 55 percent. And a lack of access to a specific fish for the penguins has them supplementing with another type of fish. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Jessica. Now, the Asia exhibit was slated to open in late spring 2023. The biopark had to move the Australia project into phases, with the first phase scheduled to open in February or March.